they need to trust your um, your opinion. So I can't just flip flop. I said minion. Uh, a minion? I didn't say minion. I said opinion, not minion. <laughs> All right. Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. I'm here today with Food Satchel, and we are going to check out which fast food place has the best cheeseburger. Me! Yes, all right, do you want to do that? Do you want to check that out? Okay, so we have gone to McDonald's. We had to get the Happy Meal, didn't we? So not just the cheeseburger by itself, we had to get a Happy Meal. Okay, we've got McDonald's cheeseburger, a Hungry Jack's cheeseburger, and a Carl's Jr. cheeseburger. Which one do you think is best? Me! Me, all right. Let's uh, take them out, let's have a look. Okay, so there's the Carl's Jr. one. I'm gonna put it on the tray here, buddy. Oh, so much rubbish. Are you gonna take out the, yeah, can you open the, the Happy Meal? Okay, and here's the Hungry Jacks. All right, I'll help you with that one, buddy. Okay, Food Satchel, what do we get? Wow, who's that? What's that? Batman again. Batman again. Mm. Oh well, we've already got Batman at home. Show everyone what this looks like. <gasps> Batman. That's pretty cool, hey. All right, we'll have I a fun with that later. Joker. Yeah, we've got Joker and Batman. Okay, so here we have the three cheeseburgers. Now, interestingly, they all cost something different. I looked on the McDonald's app. The McDonald's cheeseburger is $3.75. The Hungry Jack's cheeseburger, how much was this one, buddy? This was $3.50, and the Carl's Jr. one was $2.75. So Carl's Jr. definitely coming out on top in terms of price, but which one is the best quality? We want to find out which is the best quality one. Let's just open them up, and uh, Food Satchel, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We'll just get a nice little view. Bye! Okay, so you can see already some differences. The cheeseburger from McDonald's, interestingly enough, has a different bun. Yeah, I don't know why that is. Carl's Jr. one, definitely looking the biggest, but let's just give them all a go. So here we go on the tray. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, the cheeseburger one doesn't use a sesame seed bun. I was doing some research, Food Satchel, and the Quarter Pounder is actually more similar to the, the cheeseburger from the Carl's Jr. and the Hungry Jacks. But anyway, this is fine. Food Satchel, did you just eat a black currant soother? I don't think that will help you. I don't think, yeah, well, I've got some black currant soothers in the car. Um, Food Satchel, you may be impairing your ability to taste these properly by doing that. But anyway, which one, which one do you want to try first? Which one do you want first? And have a bite. You have some? Uh, That's, my best. That's your favorite already? Well, that one. Okay. Okay, he's, he's taking the Hungry Jacks one. See what he thinks about that. Show, show everyone what's inside it. What does it look like inside? I'm going to have the McDonald's cheeseburger. Now, I don't think anyone. Hey, where are the pickles? There should be pickles on this, shouldn't there? Should, there should be pickles on the cheeseburger. Oh, this could uh, severely impact their score. I'm not... All right, not looking good for McDonald's. But anyway, we'll give it a go. You want to have... Yeah. Gosh. Okay, I'm just going to have the cheeseburger. Let's try it out. Hmm. Mm. That's my best. Now... In the interest of transparency, the McDonald's one is the oldest one. We went to McDonald's first, then Hungry Jack's, then Carl's Jr. All pretty close together, but obviously with fast food, time really is of the essence. Is it not Food Satchel? It's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's my, that's my best. Mm-hmm. You've already chosen your best. I think the mints, uh, sorry, the meat here is, is quite good, actually. There's a good flavor to the meat patty. But there's no crunch from pickles, McDonald's, come on. And um, it, doesn't have the, it, it doesn't have the sharpness. It really needs the pickles. So this is, um, this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want some? 
But yeah, no crunch on this particular one. From memory though, cheeseburgers do have pickles. So I'll factor that in. Okay, next up, I'm gonna try the Carl's Jr. cheeseburger. We're actually in the Carl's Jr. parking lot, aren't we, food satchel? Now this one has the pickle. And it is identical to the McDonald's cheeseburger, except for the sesame seed bun rather than the cheeseburger bun. Do you wanna have a try? Gee, you've already got a mouthful of cheeseburger. But anyway, <laughs> we'll have a go at this. Hmm. That's Batman. Hmm. Mm. It's so bad. I don't know why this one's cold already. This one's like colder than the cheeseburger. That's than so the cold. McDonald's cheeseburger. I don't know why that is. So it's not that bad either, but I think the the McDonald's meat is superior today. So that's interesting. Yet the lack of pickles is a big, big mark against them. All right, I'm just going to try the Hungry Jacks one. Food Satchel's already had some of this. The uh, the bun there is is cooked a bit more. Oh, it's a bit stickier. It does seem a bit bigger, actually. It does seem a That's little... Right. Can I have some? It does seem a bit bigger than the Carl's Jr. one. And a bit bigger right, right. than the McDonald's one as well. I just have one bite, okay? One bite. So this is your favourite already. This is my best. Alright, Food Satchel has declared Hungry Jacks to be the best. Hmm. Wow, that definitely does have a lot stronger flavors. Like, perfect amount of muscle well, and tomato. That's got a pickle on it. That's got a pickle on it? Have a try of that one. Have a try of that one. Mmm. And it's nice and warm. Wow. I really think you might be onto something there, Food Satchel. This, this could be the winner. I will, you know, have another comparison there. How, how's that one? If that's the Carl's Jr. one, how's that? It's good as well. Did you try the McDonald's cheeseburger? This one, the McDonald's has the little bits of onion on it. I'm not sure if the other ones do. But they're really soft today for some reason. Batman. Does Batman want to try? What does Batman think? Batman. Alright, did you want to try the cheese, the McDonald's cheeseburger? Have a try. Hmm. Have another chip. Chips exclusively from McDonald's. Yeah, he's a bit cold. So they go cold really quick, eh? I don't know how people get fast food delivered. Like, yeah. it just takes too long. It'd be awful by the time it gets to your house. Okay, food satchel. We've, um, wait. Uh, yeah, there's the Hungry Jacks one still. We've made a pretty good dent in these burgers. I don't know how it is that the Hungry Jacks one is the warmest one. This is this is uh, definitely the warmest. Like, it's the warmest too. That's the warmest too? Mm, gonna have to disagree with you there, Food Satchel. Um, all right, which is your favorite? Which is your favorite, Food Satchel? We have the Carl's Jr. This one, this is your favorite? Yeah. So, I think for taste, and we're only looking at taste, yeah, I think, I think Hungry Jack's has the best cheeseburger. Isn't that right? So, yeah, without weighing them up, I think they're all pretty much the same amount of beef and cheese and, and bread. They probably weigh about the same. There may be a few grams difference. The price, I was surprised that the price varied so differently. The cheeseburger, the Hungry Jack's cheeseburger was $3.50. Don't play with that. The Hungry Jack's cheeseburger was $3.50, so that was in the middle. Well, actually, not in the middle. Carl's Jr. was um, uh, head and shoulders the cheapest, um, and is... is Possibly the best value, possibly the, the best value, I would say. So if you had 10 bucks to spend on cheeseburgers, I think four Carl's Jr. cheeseburgers might be better than, wait, 
well, you can't even get three. You can't even get three Hungry Jack's cheeseburgers for that much. You can't get three McDonald's cheeseburgers for that much. So if value is really, really important, or rather, like price. Oh, can you not do that? If price and um, volume is important, then yeah, Carl's Jr. Probably better. Hey, you found that. Then yeah, Carl's Jr. is probably better. But if you're only looking for flavor, Hungry Jack's wins. Do you agree? Hungry Jack's is the best? Alrighty, so there we go. Huh? That's your best. That's your best? This one, the McDonald's cheeseburger is your best now. You, you food satchel, you've, you've got some things to learn. You can't just flippantly change. Okay, well, look, you can't just change your mind like that because the people watching need some, like, a concrete, they need to trust your your point of view. They need to trust your um, your opinion. Oi. So I can't just flip flop. I say a minion. Uh, a minion? I didn't say minion. I said opinion, not minion. <laughs> Alright. Keep the keep minion's name out your mouth. Alright, so anyway, yeah. Um Hungry Jack's definitely the best tasting cheeseburger. All right, he's changed it to uh, McDonald's cheeseburger. I think he's gonna change it back to Hungry Jack's. We'll leave it there, Food Satchel. So many thanks for watching. Use this information wisely and we'll catch you later. Make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe. Many thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, Food Satchel. Are you ready to go? Here, just put that down for a second. Okay, we'll put that here. Okay, food satchel, look at the camera. No, no, here. And say, welcome to another edition of Food Sack.